not working. Do you hear that? Yep. Is that coming out? Right, folks. One more, please. Just one more. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. Okay, right. We're going to do an arrival activity first. Um, then we're going to progress into our game. And we're going to do a part practice. And then we'll... We'll see where that takes us time-wise, and um, we'll see if we can get back into into the uh, into the hole. So I'm going to work on a defensive theme. Um, so it's aimed at under 12s age group. So that's where I'm pitching it because that's the age group of players that I work with. Um, and the, if you will, the topic of the theme is slowing down opponents. So I'm using language that's relevant for them. Um, I've got some individual, I've got some unit and I've got some team challenges there um, but you can see what they are so when we get into the game I'll be talking about those things but our arrival activity what, what you can see behind you over there we're just going to get you working so that's our yellow area it's all sort of set up Yeah. so we've got that sort of arrangement. Yep. And Dave set it up like that. So you've got that sort of arrangement. Yep. So you've got that. What you're going to do is you're going to pair off. So if it had been a, if you will, a rival activity and the kids coming in dribs and drabs, First one arrives, second one arrives, we can play. Third one comes in, fourth one comes in, we can play. You're all here. So we've got our four teams, so we're going to get straight into it. What you're going to do is you're going to pair off, yeah, and you're going to play against 1v1, against your partner. Um, we'll set ourselves up so you've kind of got no more than two in each area there. No matter four working. So they might be working on their own. So there's our fourteen, all mixed up. I know you're going to play a game of tag, yeah? So somebody's going to come in and you're going to play 1v1. Object is to try and get through that middle ground. So if you're starting on the far side, you're going to work across, get across over here. At the same time, in your group, they're playing tag. These are playing tag. So this guy's looking to try and get through, get across the other side. They're defending that middle area there, okay? If you manage to tag them, then you can change the roles over. So we're just going to work in 1v1s to begin with. Yep. And then we'll work in, um, we'll look at doing a couple of groups of uh, 2v2 and then a 3v3. Okay? So that's your setup. If you want to have a stroll over there, work out who you're going to work with. Yeah, get yourself a partner. And we'll have a go at our arrival activity. That's it, so find your partner. That's it. No, you can you can you can move and you can come in. You can you're not tied to work in this area here. So you can work across. Yeah. So you can you can you can work across in your ten by ten uh, your your area here. You're working your area hit, you're looking to get across to the far side. Okay? So if you if you get tagged, if 
by your partner, then we'll look to rotate it and you can change over. Okay, when you're ready, you can get going. That's it, when you get ready, off you go. So you're just playing a game of tag. Sit. So just, just keep changing. It's just a simple game of tag. Sit. Well done. Good. Well done. Well done. That's it, well done. Good footwork, well done, Dave. Well done. <laughs> well done, folks. Okay, and rest and take a breather, and just take a breather. So, what? A, what? A, not not easy. What I want you to think about, if you're looking to tag your partner, remember what we said about it's about slowing them down. Yeah. So I want you to think about your footwork. How are you going to slow them down? Yeah. And what you might need to do as an individual in order to do that. Yeah. If you're looking to get past with a little bit of deception. Think about those changes of pace and those changes of direction that you might need to get to get past. But what I want you to think, think from a defending perspective is how can you slow your partner down? Okay? Reset yourselves, we'll have a little, little run through. When you're ready, you can start. Don't need me to let you go. Good, well done. Well done. Okay, take a breather. Well done, Chris. Okay, and take a breather. So, just a little question to you. What sort of things are you thinking about if you're looking to slow your partner down? Okay, so uh, are, are you thinking about where your partner moves first or looking to keep in line with them? Yeah, so you might be thinking about where your partner moves. Are you looking to try and keep in line with them? Now, what we've said, some of you have been rooted to the middle line here. We can free it up, so if you want to come and you want to try and go towards them, that's fine. If you want to hold your ground until they come towards you, that's okay. But I want you to think about that first thing that you can, if you will, um, slow your opponents down by looking to get in line with them. Yep, yeah? okay. Set yourselves up, we'll have a little, little run through. Make sure you keep rotating. When you're ready, you can go. When you're ready, you can go. Hold on.
we see it through the lot. The lot. <laughs> You're out there. You've got nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, and take a breather, and take a breather there. So, um, just uh, we'll just. We'll just change the organisation a little bit. So we've got, um, are you working with, uh, with Alex there? So we've got our 2v2 in there. Uh, who was working in this area here? Who was working with um, yourself, Chris? You're working there with Hannah. Yeah, if you just want to drop in on there over there. Are you girls working together there? That's it. If you want to just drop in, so that's it. So we're going to work as a 2v2. So you're going to work together to stop the, um, the opposite two trying to break across, yeah? So it's not a 1v1, so Matt, you're, uh, sorry, Dave, you're not just up against Dave there, yeah? You're gonna be working, who's in this group here? Yeah, you're gonna work in there, yep. So you're gonna work as a 2v2 in here, you're gonna work as a 2v2 in here. Will we keep you working as a 1v1 just in this area here? Then I'll rotate you in. So we get a chance to work with a partner. What you're looking to do is you're looking to stop both of those guys looking to break through here. So you're going to be working together. Yep. Um, we'll, um, we'll still work in our channel, so we're not using the full width. Yeah, so you're going to work in that area there, and you're going to work in that area there. So you're going to work together as a pair. Okay, when you're ready, um, you're going to look to try, yeah, you're going to look to try and break that middle line. Yep. Okay you're going to look to try and break the middle line. So those on the outside are looking to get through that middle area. Yeah. Once you've broken through that middle area, then you can work back. So you're not looking to get all the way across the far side in this one here. Okay, have a little try, so you're working together in pairs. Okay, off you go. So you're, you're looking to defend in the middle. You're looking to defend. Yeah. Good, well, and then you can rotate it round. Yeah, so just rotate it round. So you have a go at the defending. See, just keep rotating. Well done. <laughs> yeah, just well, just make sure they get set. Yeah, so you're learning the activity. That's it. So when they're ready, then you can go. If their backs are turned, then it's probably not going to work as well. See? Sit, keep working together. <laughs> Good, okay. Take a breather. We'll have a we'll have a little walk over here. If there's um a yellow cone, just pick um as you're looking back in, just pick the yellow cones up and just have a stroll across. Yeah, with just the yellow ones. Pick those up. We'll take those over here. Just have a stroll across. Okay, that's it. Stick him down there. So that's our. That's just our arrival activity. Just to get us. Um, <laughs> thinking a little bit about um, how we can slow opponents down, um, working in 1v1 and then just a little bit working, uh, working in pairs. So we're going to go to our, if you will, our game. So our setup for our game um, is going to be um, as follows. So we're going to play what you see on the, um, on the board there. So we're going to play 7v7 and what I've set, it, set up is we've got Two at the back, so that's like, if you will, your five and six, if you were playing 11 v 11. And then we're going to play with a midfield three. So we're playing with a four, the eight and the ten, and then a number nine. Yeah, 
so we're missing, if it was 11 v 11, we're missing our two full backs and we're missing our two wide players. Yeah. So that's, if you will, that's the, that's, that's the arrangement of players. Yeah. Um, we're going to play uh, offside. Yeah. So I'm not going to mark any offside uh, lines down because we'll play to the blue, um, play to the blue markings. So we'll play offside. Yeah. But you'll notice what we've done using the red flats. We've marked out. So we've got four channels that look something like that. So that's how we've divided the pitch up. Yeah. You're going to play on that. So you want to get yourself bibbed up. Um, I don't know um, who's a high flyer, who's a, looking to get better. Um, we're going to need a couple of goalies. Yeah, goalkeepers. You all right playing in goals, Paul? Yeah, you all right, Matt, playing in goals? Yeah, so you're going to play in goals. And then just organise yourself so you've got a five and a six. Yeah, we've got an extra blue. One of the blues take... Um... Folks, we've got an extra blue. Folks, we've got an extra blue. Yeah, so... Uh, now, you stay there, Steph. That's it. Uh, let's have it. Yeah, we've got an extra blue for some reason. Um, who's going to play... Are you happy to change, Chris? It's like a free transfer. When you're ready, you can get going. Get playing, just get playing. Yeah, anywhere, we're just playing a game, Hannah. That's it, well done. Get a feel for where you're playing. <laughs> Say it, well done, keep playing. Well done, Reds. Play to a finish. Keep playing. Keep playing. Play on, Chris. Play goal kick, Paul. Play goal kick. Play goal kick. Play a goal kick, Matt. Play on Tom. Keep going. Keep playing. Keep playing. Game's still going on.
Play to a finish. Okay, and just take a breather. Just have um, have a little stroll in. And you come. Have a breather. That's it. Try not to be the last. Try not to be the last. Okay, that's given me a little bit of a chance just to have a look at, at you guys here. Um, so, what, what shape have we got for, uh, for both teams? What shape have we got? So, we've got two, we've got three, and we've got one. So, both teams are playing the same formation, yeah? Um, in terms of um, some individual thinking, what I want you to recognise is that. So, individual, try to recognise when to press your opponent, yeah, so some individuals, yeah, so if you're that front player there, yeah, I want you to recognise when there's opportunities to press or not, yeah, so try to do that. Um, as a unit, so if we're thinking about that midfield unit, so we've got three that are playing there, just try and recognise when and how to provide some support for a teammate, so we're linking you together, and then collectively as a team, what I want you to think about is try to work together and stay compact as a team and recognising when to do it. Yeah. What I want you to think about um, is how we've divided that pitch up. Yeah. So if the ball is, this, is with this guy here, how do you think that that might affect you in terms of the channels if it's on that side of the pitch? Yeah, and we've got four going across. So we might need to think about if the ball is in that channel here, which one we can afford to leave vacant, uh, even if they have somebody out across on that side. So I want you to think about which channels you need to occupy and which ones you can afford to leave free. Okay? Get yourselves on. We're going to play offside. Yeah, we're playing offside. And we're playing to a finish, so I'm not going to keep stopping it. I want you to um, keep playing the game. We'll play from you, Paul, down that bottom end when you're ready. We'll play from there. Well done, well done, Paul. Well done, well done, well done. Paul. So just have a little thing. If the goalkeeper's got possession, or if it comes out to a back player and you can't get any pressure on the ball, save your legs and just think about holding your ground. Yeah? Play to a finish, play goal kick, Paul. Play goal kick. Okay, and still, and just hold it there. Just have a little bit of a breather. Just shuffle back a little bit. Just shuffle back a little bit. Go on, just shuffle back. So, just, just have a little thing. If the opposition get good possession and it's high up the pitch and Paul's playing as our, our striker, if he can't get pressure on the ball, what I want you to think about collectively is keeping your shape, yeah? If he goes and he looks to get some pressure to slow down the opposition, yeah? Our midfield three, what I want you to think about is providing him with some support, yeah? But also then just checking to see where the opposition are. Yeah, so it's a back player, yeah? We might be able to afford to leave 
that guy really fr free. Yeah, so think about occupying that channel across there if you can, Adam. Yeah, and we've got a 2v1 at the back, so that's not a huge amount of danger. But if you can't get any pressure on, think about what we're doing as a team. Yeah, but we work off Paul's lead. Okay, so just um, drift back in there with it. Slide it back into Tom. Yeah, play exactly that same pass and we'll play from there. Off you go. Just in play, only just. Keep playing. <laughs> offside. <laughs> offside. If he's offside, we'll play a free kick. Yep. So we'll play offsides. Play throw, play throw in. Play to a finish, keep playing, keep playing. Hard to play. Shannon, so if it goes across on that side, if it goes across that side, Think about leaving that channel and tucking across so you come and play a little bit more central. All right? Go on, keep playing, keep playing. Okay, and hold it there. And hold. Now, so we can work with both teams. If you don't think you're going to be able to get any pressure on it, save your legs and just think about getting into a central position. Yeah? So we get shit, if we can't get pressure, if it goes suited to the goalkeeper, yeah, let him have the ball, think about keeping our shape. Yeah, so we're making that sort of decision. Okay, just... So we can work off. So if we're thinking about our front players, if we can't go and affect it, let the goalkeeper have the ball, and we're just looking for that cue where we can then think about slowing them down if we can get pressure on the ball. Right, me and play. Good, well done, Alex. Alex, Alex, so if it goes out wide, think about getting yourself in between the wide player and the deepest one there. Yeah, yeah, so you're almost encouraging them to play down that side. Yes, yeah, so you cut that one off. Get yourself in between those two passes. Go on. Play from you, Paul. Go on and play. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep going. Super pass, Chris. Well done. Oh, good finish. Well done. Yeah, we'll play from Paul.
Well done, Hannah. Nice try, Ryan. Nice try. Well done, Hannah. <laughs> okay, take a breather and take a breather. Well done, Alex. Just just set it back in. Just set it back in. So well remembered. Just set it back into uh, into mat, please, Adam. So if they get position high up, well done, Alex. Here, what I want you to think about though is get in line with it. And what we've talked about at this end, Paul, if it does drift out, go and play it out across to Adam there. If you can't get in line with it here to stop it coming into midfield, just have a little think about whether you can now show them down one side of the pitch. So you're trying to encourage them to play down that and cut that back player out there. Midfield, think about what we've said about playing as a unit. Yeah? So tr try, and stay, try and stay close together so they cannot play through to you and they're looking to find the striker in there. So as a three, what I want you to try and think about is those distances that are going to be between you. So you're nice and compact as that, that midfield unit. Okay? So send it back into Matt. We'll play from there. When it, go when it goes in there, just if you can look to get in line, look to get in line. Yeah, so if you've got time, so you're now thinking about how can I slow him down? Yeah, so we don't want him to break out a midfield. So you might be able to slow him, slow him down by looking to come across and getting in line with him here. Yeah, so you might be able to, if he's dropped a little bit deeper there and he starts to travel with it, you might be looking to encourage him to play down that side. Yeah, and then we can look to shift across at the back. Okay, go on, play from there. Play. Good, well done, Dave. Well done. Play a throw at him. Play goal kick. Steph. So think about 1v1 defending. If you get there to slow down, then think about how you're going to match them to prevent them getting the crossing. Yeah? Red throw. Okay. Well, just have a little, have a little breather. Just have a walk in. And you come. So, ju just a couple of things to consider. So, if you're looking to um, slow your opponent down, a bit of decision making, if you, look, if you look to get in line with it, then I want you to think about how you're going to make yourself difficult to be in that 1v1. Yeah? So, if you get in line and you manage to get there, what I want you to think about is trying to make it difficult for them to get that next pass, or if it's a wide situation, if they're looking to get crosses in. Yeah? Um, Midfield unit, so recognising what sort of things do you need to think about in terms of if you're going to um, provide support for a teammate, what might be a couple of the things that you're, you're thinking about? What does that mean if you're providing some support for a teammate? Okay. Yeah, 
okay. Yeah, so you might be thinking about things like the angle and distance. Yeah, so if the ball goes out here, like that, and we, uh, we get some pressure on the ball from this guy here, then the next one is looking to provide some support, thinking about that angle and distance. So if you want to use those channels working across, so we occupy that space, yeah, this guy here occupies that third one, and we can leave that fourth one, we can leave that blank, yeah, we can leave that free, okay? Um, if you're working at the back, it's a 2v1. So if the nine comes across in here, we can think about how we're marking, or we're covering that opponent. What might the other player be thinking about there? So they might be thinking about their angle and distance, but they're then covering that space. So we're going to blank one here. Yeah. So just think about those angles and distances. If you manage to slow the opposition down, yeah, try and win the ball. Yeah. Win the ball and then go and play. Okay? So a last little run through and then we're going to do a little bit of a part practice and then come back into the game. Okay? What? One nil to the blues. Sorry, reds. Over across some Ryan? Yeah. No chance. Go on, Matt, we'll play from you. Let's go. Okay, just take a breather. So if that sort of happens, so we've had possession and we lose it in this area of the pitch, so the attacking third, really quickly, what might we need to think about Blues? Because we've had possession and then we've lost it really, really quickly. What might, what might that be a cue for? So we might have to think about being then midfit. Can we, get, can we get some pressure on it really, really quick? Because if not, they're probably going to have a shot. Yeah, they're close enough to have a shot from distance. We've gone from being quite dispersed, we need to then react and go really, really close together. Yeah, so when we get that turnover, just have that in mind as a team, how we then react to those turnovers. Okay, play from you, Paul. Let's go. Good try, Paul. Good try. Good try. Keep playing, keep playing. Well done, Tom. Well done, Tom. Great stuff, Steph. Well done. That's it. Dave, so if, if they get into this final third and they play off Paul, yeah. think about getting some pressure on so no turns, no shots. Little challenge for you there in that respect. Good, keep playing, keep playing. Playing, keep playing, keep playing. Okay, and take a breather. Have a wander in. In you come. You feeling it? Hard work? Yeah. That's 
it, have a stroll in. So just a little reminder, as individuals, um, what have you got to think about? I've not made it position specific, but what are you thinking about as individuals in terms of slowing opponents down? Pressing What's up? Pressing as a team, so having a trigger player. So, um, so it, might, it might be that we work off Paul or we work off Alex, yeah? But if you can't get pressure on, just, yeah, if you can't get pressure on, just recognise that you you might just have to save your legs. Yeah. Um, you don't need to go chasing after everything. Yeah. Okay. Right. Our part practice is going to look something like this, and I'll put some little um, I'll put some gates down for you to play through. We're going to play a three v three. So three blues um, can defend against three reds. The ball's going to start with the goalkeeper and it's just going to be like a wave practice. So the goalkeeper will play it in, then we go and play 3v3. Yeah, goalkeepers, um, you can't dolly it up, you know, play it in with a little bit of purpose. Yeah, and you can vary who you play to. So it might go to the wide players, it might go to the central players. In the opposite half, we'll do exactly the same. So we'll have three against three goalkeeper serves it in so we're just going to have a little rotation so you might, might need to make sure you've got a supply of footballs just by your goal and then we'll rotate it round so the blues that have been defending here they get a chance to have attack yeah so um if you want to set yourselves up and um, what i'll do is i'll pop um because you can't really see the uh, the flat reds what i'll do is i'll use some of the um the yellow disc cones there so that if the defenders win it, there'll be an outcome for them. So you'll have to get free somebody up to travel through that gate. So you're breaking out as if you've won it, which is what's been happening in the game. OK, so you work out who you'd like to play with. Might work if you've got the two defenders and the holding midfielder working together and the front player and the two wide players working together. So you sort out your threes, get yourselves organised. Uh, we've got a few footballs down that end. We might need some up the other end. So if you win it, you can break out of that. Uh, well, if they're going if, if they to if they're going to defend first, you're going to attack. So it's going to be a three v three. Yes, yeah, so you're attacking. You're trying to score into the goal. Put him. Just going to play up to here. I'm not going to play up to the halfway line. Yeah. So we're going to need. Tom, you might want to play, because you've played at the back, haven't you? Is Ollie Cohen in there? Three. So we need another one, yeah. Ollie, if you want to play with them, um, with Dave and Alex there. Yeah, we've got three here. Set you up with these here. Matt, are you ready? Are you organised? Yep. So you clip it in, as soon as they get it, we play live. That's it. Just three on three. If they win possession, they look to break out the yellow.
killed her. And play. Okay. Okay. So we're going to play a three on three. This is the part practice. Keep hold of it there, Matt. Blues drop in. Go on, just drop beyond where the yellow cones are there. That's it. So it's going to be a 3v3. Yeah. Matt, you clip it in. When you get possession, it's three attacking against the three defenders here. I'm not putting any conditions on it. You know, not everybody's got to see the ball. But when it gets clipped in, we can go and play live. If you win possession, your objective is to break out through there or through there. Yeah? You'll then have to do what? Well, you'll have to defend those. You'll have to defend against them here. So you'll then be looking at defending. So if they win it, we play to a finish. OK? We're not playing offside in here because this is the part practice. Wait for him to get up. Matt, just wait for him to get organised, yeah? So we'll go off your lead. <laughs> OK, hold it there. Well done, well done. Just have it back. Yes, yeah, so I might have to do a little bit of um, deliberate coaching. Well done, I like that. So just go on the ball, just go and threaten it there. So if it goes central and you come out, Chris... Yeah, if he comes out, it's almost like we've got that triangle, haven't we? So we need to think about what behind the guy that's getting some pressure. What do we need to think about here? Support, yeah. So we might need to think about our angles and our distances, yeah. If he's shown in that way, I can afford to be here. If it gets played across, I'll go and deal with it, yeah. So your position, you might now be now central, yeah. So you might be in that central position. Don't get too bogged down with having to think about, well, I've got to go across over there. So we work together as a three. Yeah? So that's what we're looking for. Stick it back in, play exactly that same ball. So think about your individual stuff and think about what you're doing as a unit. So you're just going to play it into Ollie. That's it? Okay, let's go and play. Good, well done. Under. Right, right, and if you can't, you stop the cross. Yeah, so you think about your individual defending there. No crosses, no shots. Yeah, if you can. Go on, go on, Matt. Well done, Hannah. Well done. Hold on. Good information, Chris. You just vary it, Matt. Vary where you're delivering it to. Good, 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 good. Well done. Make sure you change it over now. So change over. That's it. So change it over, blues go and defend. Reds, you get a chance to have an attack. You've had about six or seven attacks there. Make sure we change over, if you changed over, six or seven attacks. You're waiting for me to tell you, aren't you? Have you? He's not told us, six or seven. Change it over. You all right, Dave? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, just go back in there. Now, so if, just go back on the ball, Dave. It's a little bit more deliberate, this, but what I want you to think about, if, if he goes, go back on the ball, Dave, and you're... So if Adam goes, if he goes there and he's decided that he's going to try and go and get some pressure on in this 3v3 and he's in line with it there, what might we need to think about off the ball as a, as a unit? 
So might need a little bit of support. Go on, Tom, go back to where you were there. So you're almost central. If he starts to make that sort of movement there, you go and threaten the... Go and threaten. So now it's that 2v2, isn't it? I've got a 2v2 and I'm thinking, well, how do I support? Good position. Slide the ball across. So now you might need to think about, can I get in line? Yeah, you might not be able to get any pressure on it just yet. That might affect you off the ball. Yeah. So I want you to think about how you're working as a unit of three as well as, you, as your individual responsibilities. Okay. So I'll stick it back into Paul. We'll go again. Doing all right. Doing smashing. That's it. Let's go and play. Yeah, only just, yeah. So what we can we can play off sides. Even though it's a even though it's a little skill practice, yeah, it's our part practice. Think about so attackers, yeah, think about trying to stay on side if you can, and you can use that offside to your advantage. Okay? Off you go. So, Paul, you can think, because you're the keeper, you're thinking about supporting them in behind as the goal is. It's like a 4v3 practice. Right, well done. So, so we play, we're finished. If you're in possession, you're looking to break out and initiate that attack. Give me a breather. Last minute or so. Hold on, Dave. Okay. And time. Have a breather. Have a breather. And time. Hold it there. Okay, have a stroll over, come on in. Come on in. All right, Dave. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. We'll we'll go back in so that's our part practice. <laughs> bit parallel practice. Yeah. So that I'm, I'm working on my own. So I've got to kind of trust you guys to get on there. And we'll, when we go in, we'll just talk about how you might manage, if you will, that parallel practice so that actually you work on what we've asked you to do. Yeah, I can go and spend a little bit of time here or vice versa with that part practice. Yeah, um, we get to this point, then we go back into our hole. So we then take it back into the hole and have a little look at how what we've just done in the part practice continues in that in that whole practice. We're not going to do that because I'm conscious of time and I'm looking at work and rest. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and um, we'll just sort of review and um, we'll look to try and get back inside and tidy up and consolidate what we've done today. All right, well done. Um, just have a whiz round and we'll uh, if we collect the footballs... <laughs> We'll just get all the gear in and we'll just get everybody together and we'll review it in there. Anywhere down the bottom, Dave. Yeah, anywhere down the... Put him. I was just... Yeah, I was keeping my eye on you. Yeah, I've only got keel over, not that. No, 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 you were... Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, no probs. Picture, yeah, no, no. Well, what I'll do is we'll just we'll we'll just try to get everybody in here and.
is winning. <laughs> okay. So we'll just do a little bit of um, a review here, and then I'm conscious of time. I'm just trying to round the round the day off here. So. Um, just a, a, a really simple arrival activity just to get people thinking about slowing opponents down. Just a, a tag game. Did I do everything that I expected to do? No, because I'm conscious of work and rest and where that fits and getting us then into what we're going to be thinking about doing in, if you will, the whole. So we've just played the game. Yeah. Um, and what I've been very conscious of is trying to show you um, some different types of interventions. Um, so some deliberate <laughs> stuff, but also some more subtle stuff. Um, so we've played the game. Um, what 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 did you, did I work with a team, or did I work with both teams, or particular players? What? So, little, so kind of began and worked a little bit with the striker. Yeah, that was my first, if you will, my first in my, in my planning, in my thinking. I'm going to work with the front player because that might link into some of the stuff around units and team. But it was, it was just about slowing opponents down. Yeah, when to, when not to. What does that mean? Does it mean about getting in line? Does it mean if you've got a chance to go and get some pressure on the ball, do we recognise when to do it? Um, what you've just seen there might be the first bit of work in three or four weeks. So I know I've got loads of stuff in my head, but actually I'm not getting everything out to the players all at once. Because I know that next week what we'll do is we'll build on what we've just done. So we've done the whole, we've done the game. Um, I've just used the visual there and just written them down, some individual challenges. Try to recognise when to press your opponent. But I noticed, I noticed things during the game, particularly when it got close to the goals, that people had to recognise. They've got to go and get pressure on the ball. Yeah, Higher up the pitch, that might not be the case. There's a bit of decision-making there. In our language, pressing and dropping. Um... But as it got closer to goal, I said, we've got to go and defend. We've got to, we've got to go and stop the opposition playing. Um, the unit stuff, I was trying to just tease out some information from, from you because you use particular language. But I've taught, if you will, the players that I've worked with, I've explained what support is. I've explained what cover is. So I'm thinking about my questions to get that information out, trying to tease it out of you guys. Um, and and then the team stuff. Some of the time we worked we worked really well. We were quite compact. Yeah. There weren't a huge amount of goals. Maybe that was not to do with the defending. That might have been to do with what. The it might have been the attacking play. But I've got to kind of leave that. I've got to leave that well alone, because I'm just looking at how you were playing as a individual unit and team defending um, the part practice um, simple yeah show it on the visual get going you know that's what it is get get going um, you know you might have six or seven attacks and then change over ownership get on with it yeah, I, I, I've worked on my own there. What might happen if you're in your club? And I know it could happen with us tonight if I was doing that with our boys. I might not have enough players, so I might have to, I might have to change it around. But we work with 14. If, everybody, if everybody's there, I've got 14. It would look like that. Yeah. Um, who, who do you think works with me? Two other coaches, two other dads. So I go here, they go up the top, we change it around. So we've got a parallel practice 
And I just make sure that I work with both groups at some point. But actually, I just trust them to get on with it because we've had a little conversation about this is what the practice is. This is sort of what, you know, we're trying to get out of it. Um, so I've worked, quite, I've worked quite hard there on my own, but I can sort of trust you to get on with it. But actually, you were waiting for me sometimes. Oh, come on, start, change over. All the mechanics of a practice. Um, and then we've got to a point we'd probably go back into the game. Yeah. Um, just reinforce our challenges, the individual and the unit, um, and just see how that looks in the game. And that's just week, that's just week one. So there's a, there's a way of working. There's a methodology. Um, I'll have to watch the video nasty back. Yeah, because what you think you've done and what you've actually done sometimes are two different things. So I, I'm, I'm conscious that there's lots of opportunities to get in and coach. Yeah, loads of them, but I've kind of just had to just leave some stuff and not be diving in and doing that deliberate intervention all the time. But I have got in there and done a little bit of coach. You've, you've got to sometimes. So I'm trying to model what I'd do with kids, with you. It's hard. Because you do things differently to kids. Um, is that, I don't know, is that, is that okay? I mean, Matt's, we're, we're both slightly different, but we've tried to model a methodology for you in terms of where we're coming at in terms of individual challenges, interventions. Yeah. Should we get the gear up? Should we go inside? Um, if there's anything, if you've got any questions, if we want to just take them in there, I'm sure you've got some questions. You must have some. Yeah. So we get the, we'll get the stuff together. We'll go inside. We'll try and just wrap up the practical. Um, and um, not be far off four o'clock, will it? Tell me off. Oh, 